there everybody it's UK independent demonstrator Halsey here from slimandstylish.com thank you for joining me today for another episode in my winter Wednesday series so today I'm going to be playing with the coming home photopolymer stamp set as you know on a Wednesday I now grab a stamp set off my shelf from the mini catalogue and I make three different cards using that set but as the coming home stamp set didn't have any um, sentiments with it I also picked up the itty bitty Christmas cling stamp set which is lovely and it has all these amazing sentiments with it so I thought the two of them worked really well together. I haven't used either stamp set so far they're all brand new so I haven't got any idea really how I'm going with this but I do think there's going to be some stamping blends involved okay so let's get started I think I'm going to play with my coming home first see how we go um, I do quite like the sentiment here from our house to yours especially means they're all houses on this set so I think that's quite nice it reminds me of that song driving home for Christmas which always brings me really funny memories because one of the guys in my office at work hates that song and sort of the last day before we break up for Christmas we always have a few Christmas tunes on and he gets really stroppy when we play it which means we play it all the time over and over um, and it's quite amusing so <laughs> whenever I think of that song it makes me smile so I'm going to play with the tool house and I'm going to grab a piece of whisper white cardstock that is 10.2 centimeters by 14.5 and I've just realized that this steam here is for the chimneys and I've got a chimney on my house so I might come back for that but I'm going to memento this up first stamp my house I quite like these sets that you can build a scene with I'm trying to I think I'm going to go this way yep like that and I'm actually just going to take the whole sheet out of there so you keep reopening it and closing it and I'm going to grab is my tree too big for my house do we think you can't have a tree too big for your house, can you? They keep growing and growing, so I'm going to have have the big tree. I don't like it. Right, change again. Same size cardstock. And here we go again. This, by the way, is how I go in my craft room most of the time. <laughs> but then the idea of these sets is to play and have fun and to try different things. So there's my house and I'm going to try the little tree this time. There is some gorgeous DSP that goes with this, by the way, in the catalogue as well. And some dies, and the DSP coordinates with the dies. So I always think that that's really clever when that works out right. But at the moment, I'm just playing with a stamp set. And I'm gonna pop the little beetle on. I think it looks like a beetle. and some steam coming out of the chimney and I'm going to do the steam in Sahara sand okay blend alert so for me, the blend that is the Christmas blend is just jade. I think it's gorgeous. And I have been using this on most of my Christmas projects. So I'm going to 
start off with dark on the side like that and come in with the light um, fill in that part of the tree and then I'm just going to keep going over dark to light so that it spreads the colour a little bit like that and blends it in the blends are so easy to use, they're gorgeous. I'm going to use some cinnamon cider now. And I'm going to use the dark cinnamon cider for the stump of the tree. And I'm going to use some cinnamon cider on the house as well. So I'm going to use it on the roof. So I'm just going to keep doing straight lines up on each of the slatin. And on the door and then I'm going to use the light one coloring the entire roof in the rest of the door. I don't generally have houses like this in in my area so I'm not really sure what colours they would be but I'm kind of thinking it would be a stone colour I'm doing it stone colour anyway, rather than a brick. What I'm going to do just to make it look more stony actually is I'm just going to pop some textures of the dark like that on the house. And then when I come around with the light, it should then just leave that texture. So it looks like it's stone. Blend that in properly on that side. And then just underneath, you can see it has left that texture, so it does look quite stony, and that's quite good. I don't know if stony is a word, but I've decided now that it is. I do make up my own words quite often. I'm thinking in my head actually a head for a card for on a Tuesday and a Thursday I just release individual card videos rather than my three series my three card series um, and I'm thinking it would be really nice to do like a little masked village of all of these it would be a bit long for my Wednesday series because I have three cards to fit in but that would look pretty nice do some masking and build it all up Okay, and I've decided that my house is going to have little pink curtains. So I'm using Oshio Rose. And then I give it some little pink curtains. I know these aren't in a set, but who has a house without curtains? So I'm making some. I 
there we go and my car what color are you going to be i'm going to do my car in balmy blue no i'm not i'm going to do it in seaside spray <laughs> i just grabbed the blue blends so let's do seaside spray and this is the dark Okay, I think that's the end of that. So I'm going to pop from our house to yours on there, which is there. And I feel like I should also put a Christ Christmas sentiment on it too, um, to make it a Christmas card. Actually, no, I'm going to leave it like this. Then it could be like for any occasion. So I'm just going to pop that on there while I grab a piece of thick whisper white I haven't scored it normally I pre-score all my whisper white so I'm being a little bit sort of lax getting ready for this video very apologetic <laughs> but pop that in score it at ten and a half centimeters and I know I'm doing three cards so I'm just going to do all three whisper white sheets now okay fold it over and grab my bone folder and burnish it on with some dimensionals if I leave it from our house to yours it can be for any occasion I haven't put snow on it I've put a tree on there but not necessarily a Christmas tree so if I leave it like that, then when it actually comes, if there's another reason, if we want to send love or anything else, I can just stamp at the top there and it's all ready to go. What a great idea. Right. Let me burnish these ready for my next cards. There's number one. There's number two. You watch me lose these by the time it actually comes to doing them. <laughs> right. Next one where's my sentiments gone itty bitty christmas okay i think i'm going to have joy to no thinking of you at christmas make a real simple card with this I'm going to use a slightly smaller piece of paper. So this is nine and a half centimetres by 13.85 centimetres. And I'm going to have Thinking of You at Christmas just in the centre. I've got both of my trees. One. Two, and the set does have in it as well it has this lovely little wreath which I'm just going to grab and I'm going to stamp that and I'm gonna pop it at the top just up there and mark the lid on because this is pretty much the whole card and I'm going to use my blends I'm going to use the Just Shade the same way I did before
okay and I'm also going to do little dots on the wreath with it like that come in with the light I'm going to fill the rest of the wreath up with the light and then I'm going to do the tree same as I did before where you cover the whole thing with the light So it gives you this two-tone effect. And then just in between the dark and the light, back and forth, to sort of give a different colour in the middle. And then once you've got that, just drag it along to the edge so that it fades as you go through. And it should give it a really nice effect then. I'm very much enjoying using just jade at the moment. I think it's a beautiful colour. go and because it is a Christmas card I'm just going to grab light poppy parade put a red bow on the wreath and cinnamon cider I think I'm actually just going to use the light cinnamon cider for the uh, stalk of my tree Card stock. What colour card have I got that I want to pick on this? I'm thinking cinnamon cider means I've used the cinnamon cider blends like that. Come in with my Tombow. Get it back off my desk where I've just popped it. <laughs> Okay, um, there we go. I think I'm going to pop that just flat onto my card base. I'm not even going to pop it up or anything. I just think it looks so classy and simple. Why overcomplicate things? Why? <laughs> I am definitely going to do a um, a masked house one. Definitely, that's that's going to happen because I'm quite excited about that. So next up, hmm, having a little think here. I'm going to, I've already took these out of the box. I'm going to use the little house. I'm going to use the snow. And I'm going to use that tree that is just, it's, you know, very winter, wintry. It's lost all of its greenery. Okay. Card that's a smaller card again, so again, it's nine and a half by 13.85. My memento ink pad, I'll put my house sort of in the center, and I put my tree next to the house. And I'm going to pop some snow. like that and 
Do you know, I think I'm going to use From Our House to Yours again, but I'm going to put a Christmas sentiment on this time. So From Our House to Yours, I think I'm going to put lots of love at Christmas. Oh, I do quite like that. Okay. And um, I've got my light seaside spray out. So what I'm going to do with the bullet tip is I'm just going to pop little dots, tiny little dots, in between the dot and the stars in the snow. So it actually looks like it glistens. Not much, just a bit. Okay, you probably can't even see it on, on the camera. I'm hoping you can. Um, just so you can see that it's actually got some some colour with it. And then the house, am I going to put some colour on it? I just, I don't know, I quite like it black and white. So let me have a look and grab some backing cardstock for it. Oh, not purple. Hmm. Let's stick it down because I still haven't decided. I'm gonna leave it like that. Simple, simple. It, if it look, if you're unsure about putting colour on and you think it looks okay as it is, then why over junkify it? You know. I do. I think that looks quite nice as it is. So three simplish cards today, but I like them all. It's very hard for me, I do love blends, so I'm really tempted to add some colour onto it. But the problem is, is I like it like this, and I think if I add colour on, will I just ruin it? And the chances are, I probably will, yeah. So if you like it, know when to stop. Card number one, card number two, card number three. And the sets that I've used are the Itty Bitty Christmas set and the Coming Home set. As I said, all the items I have used on this video are available to purchase from my store, slimandstylish.com. Just go up to the header bar and click buy. If you have liked this project, do leave me a little thumbs up and subscribe for more content. Thanks everybody, I'll see you again soon. Bye.